What up, gang of Lang Edge? Carolina Jackpot time coming at you. It is Wednesday morning. And uh, so, 12.05 p.m. today, they got a press conference. We have a press conference in Knoxville announcing a new head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers. This will be the 23rd head coach in the last six years. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that. <clears throat> but they have had a lot of head coaches there uh, over the last decade. Hopefully, uh, this one uh, will be the one to lead them back to the promised land. Josh Heupel, uh, head coach of the UCF Knights right now, <clears throat> comes in. He has a record of uh, 28-8 uh, as a head coach. Only been a head coach <clears throat> at UCF. Uh, been offensive coordinator, uh, blah, 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 blah. I know at Missouri, not sure where else he was at, played at Oklahoma. Um, it's a good hire for him. Is it that solid home run hire? That term that I fucking hate. I hate that term. Well, I, I don't know. In this past year, it's really grinded my gears. Everybody, he's a home run hire. Okay, I don't know if he's the hire that they wanted, but uh, he's who you're getting. Uh, you should have known that was coming when uh, they hired their athletic director, and now they're hiring their head coach. So you're going to become UCF North. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Now, uh, what can he do on the recruiting trail? I got to level with you. I don't know. Uh, he came off the coattails of Scott Frost, who had uber success down at UCF. And this guy, though, he's been there at three years. And, I mean, honestly, I mean, they hadn't won any uh, national championships down at UCF like they did in 2017 uh, under Scott Frost. But they've been okay. Uh, last year was kind of uh, a, a down year for them. And I think they lost, like, what, three games? So there's that. Um, and they had said that they were going to bring someone who uh, was going to uh, make things exciting and have an offensive mindset to Tennessee, and uh, that's exactly what they went and done. I mean, hell, you're a step above what I guess we hired at South Carolina uh, because you are at least hiring someone uh, with <coughs> um, head coaching experience, <coughs> albeit he hadn't been uh, in the coaching ranks as long uh, as what Shane Beamer has, but... Um, Still a uh, solid hire. Um, it's, uh, is it one that makes me look and say, wow, look out? No, probably not. But um, it's not one that uh, <clears throat> I'm going to laugh at either. Or not laugh at, but um, that I'm just going to look at and say, okay. Kind of like the one uh, they made over at Vanderbilt. Uh, it's just like, you know, I already said Vanderbilt fired Derek Mason and he turned around and hired another Derek Mason, another defensive coach. I mean, what are you doing? Uh, at least Tennessee is uh, stepping out of the box, uh, getting away from uh, the defensive-minded coach and uh, going after the offensive-minded coach. What kind of a moral compass does he have? I don't know. <clears throat> I hope that uh, he's got a very strong moral compass because he's going to need one there to uh, get that place turned around and, and get things cleaned up. You got a lot of cleaning up to do. I think we all know that. Like, what, 50 level one violations they're talking about and uh, uh, umpteen uh, level two violations. Now, that's not a good situation. Uh, he's probably not going to be making uh, bowl for a while. And uh, whether they like it or not, um, they are. They're the worst team in the SEC, right? I mean, you are. And it's nothing that you've uh, done. Uh, it's, it's, it's what your, uh, your administration done. It's what all these uh, these play for play dirty pool up there done. Uh, it's what the McDonald's bag's done for you. I mean, that's uh, the reason why you're in the worst team in the SEC. I mean, you have 24 players, I think it was, in the transfer portal. 24 players uh, off your roster. I mean, I don't care how good your recruiting class is coming in uh, in 2020. Uh, it's just, it, or 2021, it just doesn't matter. I mean, you are uh, squarely uh, behind the eight ball as far as talent. I mean, you're you're in bad shape. I mean, your whole running back room pretty much is gone. I mean, you've you lost a bunch of quarterbacks there, Garrett. Now, uh, granted, uh, I think the kid that's going to be starting will stay there. 
but I mean, I don't know what you got behind him. Uh, I mean, he looked like, looked to be in pretty rough shape to me. That's coming from a Gamecock fan. And yeah, that's saying a lot. Now, I'm not trying to talk about your shit. I'm just stating facts. Um, it's going to be rough, guys. It's going to be a rough go up there. But, I mean, I think the guy can get turned around. I mean, he's proven to be a winner at UCF. But did he do it with Scott Frost players? I don't know. After three years, though, you would think that uh, if he was doing it with somebody else's players, chinks in the armor would have started to show. And he really didn't. He, they had a decent year this year. I mean, hell, they almost beat Cincinnati. And not a lot of people did that. So um, there's a lot of reason for optimism in Ox in <laughs> I said optimism in Oxville. Optimism in Knoxville. They should be happy with that hire. I would be. Um, you know, some of the, the washed up names they were talking about, some of the like the Jeff Fisher and uh and uh, what tell them who, uh, you know, has never been a college coach and hadn't been a, 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 a pro coach for a decade. Um, shit. I mean, you talk about him. I mean, you talk about, what was this, the Jason Witten, that rumor that kind of, come on. I mean, this, this is solid. It's a good hire. And I think that provided that he surrounds himself uh, with good coaches, good coordinators, I mean, you should be fine. And should be, uh, you know, starting to move into the, uh, the upper part of the SEC East in a few years, in a few years. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know where he's going to get his staff from. Don't know if he'll bring staff from Central Florida. I'm not sure. I'm sure you'll find that out in the days to come. But, anyway, Josh Heupel ends up at Tennessee. The coaching search is over. And uh, the Vol fans, I think, will uh, be pleased for now. All right, guys, I'll see you all later. If you enjoyed this video, please hit it with a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Carolina Jackpot channel. We've been cranking out them college football videos all year long. I'll see y'all later, guys. Thanks. Appreciate you. Push. And I'm out. Go Gamecocks. Go Coach. Be mine.